I, I'd, I'd like to share with you just a, a brief moment about my own personal experiences here as a, as a legislator. You know, I have not been, um, I've been open about being gay. And I would offer that I could not perceive, I could not actually prove that people discriminated uh, against me, but what I can offer is that they wouldn't ride the elevator with me. So uh, I've watched many people initially when I first came here uh, look at me and turn the other way. In fact, I had some members that were so bold that came up to me specifically and, and said to my face, that I don't like you because of your sins. So, do you think I was discriminated if that, uh, at that moment? What if I were addressed every day? What if I decided that, in fact, yesterday when I got my hair done, I actually thought about making a purple? <laughs> Uh huh. I, I thought about a purple. The chair, the chair wants to weigh in on that. <laughs> I'll remain quiet, Chair. I, I thought about match. making a purple just to make a point and to come in and address in a way that might be actual. You know that you would perceive me as an actual gay person. Instead, I decided to dress in a way that would dispel the stereotypes that many people have of what gay people look like. So, is it overt or is it covert? It actually exists. And so I would offer that to prove it is something that you feel because you're different. And it, you're different because people treat you differently.